Hey everyone, good morning. It's uh, Monday, September 28th, and we're gonna try and do a live solve of today's New Yorker puzzle uh, by Nathan Last. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce, N-A-T-A-N. Um, anyways, he's a great constructor, uh, usually some good stuff. And uh, Monday, Monday New Yorker, as we know, can be a bit of a wild card, but we'll give it a shot. I think these are more fun than doing easy ones. I thought about doing the LA Times, <laughs> live solve. And then I finished it in, in under four minutes, um, you know, doing it just as a regular puzzle. And it seems like that's probably a little boring. So let's stick to some of these tougher puzzles. And if you have any feedback about it, I'd appreciate it. So here we go. And I hate about the New Yorker that it gives you that kind of hint at the first one. So it's, you're already a little prepped for it. I know that Settlers of Catan was that thing that they uh, teased there in the beginning. Setting of David Sedaris' Santaland Diaries. <clears throat> hmm, that's interesting. Um, I wish it was a mall, because that would be wonderful. I love David Sedaris. He's one of my faves. A post-flood locale is on Noah's ship, the Ark, maybe? I don't know. A high-octane person um, is energetic, peppy, uh, but I, that's, that's a long answer to just get right off the top. A German philosopher who wrote the only possible, the only way of knowing a person is to love them without hope. Um, German philosopher like Immanuel Kant or uh, Friedrich Nietzsche, right? Um, to any degree, that's probably at all. I'm just trying to see if I can confirm any of these crosses and that might help. Um, I mean, this doesn't look like Kant or Nietzsche though, right? So. So who knows? I could be way off. Uh, Daily Mail tidbit. Uh, grande. So <clears throat> without reading any more of that clue, I know it's Ariana, the only famous Grande, other than Rio Grande. Something bar, wet bar, tiki bar, LA bar, a buffer, say. Thanks. So I'm not off to a great start here. Love, I'm going to say it's probably Hun. Uh, who's afraid of Virginia Woolf, playwright? I want to say maybe that's like, is it Ibsen? I don't know. I'm so bad with playwrights, um, which is stupid because I pretend to be a cross boss. And that's kind of an important thing of <laughs> crossword solving. Oh, yeah. Inge, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, Chicago market with the Jules Verne novel De La Terre a la so from the land to the sea I mean De La Terre a la a race race I mean, that could just be so many things and in so many directions race means a lot of stuff uh, a campaign, um, to speed, um, you know, the ethnicity of someone, um, just a lot of, a lot of possibilities. So that's, that's one best held off on. That's a good Monday, like, you know, race, you could clue that so easy. Um, but on this, you know, Monday difficult solve, that's a nice, a nice vague way to clue it. That's, that's well done. Uh, whatever it is, <laughs> uh, extended trial, Gnarly, I'm going to say that's probably rad, gives as readings, um, like orates or uh, gives as readings. Fooey, like darn or drat. Um, again, though, it could be multiple things. 2010's hip hop dance craze. So that's, I want to say that's the, the nay nay, maybe? Nay nay. Watch me whip. Watch me, Nene. Um, pledges, avows, avert, no. Um, pledges, cadets, maybe? Like, could, like pledge at um, West Point. Uh, not, just not, not really doing so well. Football player George, who inspired a Reagan nickname. So, I mean, I got to say that's got to be... The, the Reagan nickname must be Gipper. Win one for the Gipper. 
can't remember what movie that's from, but that's you know from Ronald Reagan's acting days. So I'm going to say this guy's probably named Gip. Um, and they called him Gipper, right? Uh, and this NG looks good, you know, that's going to be ING disintegrating his old books, you know, so that looks, that looks plausible if this was like a, an R, you know, instead of a G say, okay, something's wrong there. Choice for a diamond buyer, a setting, I think, right? So, uh, creep group is, so there's a couple of famous songs called creep. But it's not Radiohead, so it's got to be TLC. A learning opportunity is like a mistake or an error. Um, uh, 1996 Olympic star Devers. This is Gail Devers. I know that. So learning opportunity. Jazz Fest setting familiarly. So Jazz Fest happens every April <clears throat> in New Orleans or NOLA, a five in, if music be the food of love, play on. So is that a noun? One of five in, if music be the food of love, no. Uh, oh, verb, is it a verb? If music, no, I, don't, I, don't, huh. I have no idea what that is. And I'm probably going to feel like a real idiot when I see it and have, and so far my guesses are noun and verb. It's probably going to be way off. Um, bit of thatching. So that's like a, a hut, a reed, maybe like a, a reed. So we used to thatch stuff. Dowel. Well, dowel is going to be rod, which means setting is wrong here. Um, but at least I feel good about reed there. Aisha, that's Aisha Tyler. She's kind of been around forever. I remember her, was she on like Blind Date? I feel like she hosted Blind Date back in the day, which was a hilarious show uh, in the 90s. Pet name, like Fido or something. That's my something. That's my hmm. rakish types, like rogues. Is it rogues? Rogues? I'll try that. Just put that in and see, see if it works. They're cut from the same cloth. I don't know that. Hot spot. Again, super vague and long answer. That's there's a billion possibilities. A Frank could be like a hot dog or a weenie. Teed off. Frank. Candid. I guess that could be a lot of things. Frank. Honest. Um, high fidelity, high fidelity, Eesh. disintegrating as old books. Yeah. Ragtime pianist Matthews. Jeez, this is a hard puzzle. Um, in the blast radius, like in the blast radius. X. Tell something, Mama. Oh, jeez. No idea. Broke down, cried, sobbed, weeped, um, broke down. Whew. Glass, I <laughs> think not, not a, not a huge, I don't have a huge wealth of knowledge about mid nineties poetry collections. Unfortunately, I wasn't in my heavy, my heavy poetry phase when I was in high school, you know? <clears throat> Daily Mail tidbit. Whew. Salad bar. Hmm. Bar. Uh, this is ugly. I'm sorry you guys had to witness this train wreck. Support group. So what's a group that provides support? Um... Again, just a lot of really vague clues, really open-ended. Um, there's not a lot of specific stuff like Aisha Tyler, Nola, um, Gipper, TLC. Like these are the ones that have a clear specific answer, Ariana Grande. Um, so those are the ones that I've got filled in mostly where some of this other stuff, you know, even Hun at all, Rad, like 
these are really pretty broad. So um, just a lot of a lot of room for interpretation. Uh, alternative to love in a Machiavellian phrase, loved. So former Polish president that once led a union, I mean, it's Lech Walesa. And again, you know, there's, I don't know much about Poland. I mean, like hardly anything, um, but I know Lech Walesa because I took history in high school. <laughs> um, so, you know, again, just not very many of those type of clues where it's, this can only be this one thing. Um, this is the one they teased in the, in the, the preface there, board game often called Settlers of Catan, right? Only played that a couple of times, but it's pretty fun. And hope to play it again. Title choice on a form. So this might be like Sir. That's probably Sir. I read of many Bernie Sanders proposal. Um, target of many Bernie Sanders proposal. Hmm. That's interesting. Again, he's got a lot of proposals. Um, gives as readings. So that kind of feels like it's gonna be a signs and that this sir might be wrong, title choice on a form. Hmm. Um, let's say this is probably a signs and that <clears throat> looks good with the SE and the ING, right? So I feel okay about that. And then this is probably Mrs. Title choice on a form, Mr. Ms. Mrs. <clears throat> okay, so this is target of many of Bernie Sanders proposal is one payer, one, it's like a single payer system, right? Hmm. A learning opportunity is a lesson. I wonder if maybe get this wrong here. One, there's like universal, no, universal, a false front. A false front is going to be pseudo, which means that actually does look pretty good. Target of many of Bernie's interest proposal, one, one, <laughs> come back to that, parts of codes. really small, like teeny weeny, itty bitty. Um, seems like maybe rogues is gonna be wrong here. I'm not sure. Underlying. Drafting table supply. So that's gotta be rulers. Drafting table is gonna be like for an architect or an engineer or something, right? Um, so you need a nice straight edge where you can measure things like you would get from a ruler. Um, Caster and Pollux are one of five. And if music be the food of love, play on. Hmm. If music be the food of love, play on. I really don't have any idea where we're going with that. Um, oh. Was that also the wrong clue? Oh boy. Um, I was reading the cross clue. I'm so fixated on that one. Um, but teed off is like yelled at, uh, annoyed, hmm. interpreter of maladies author Jumpa. So, I mean, <clears throat> that last name looks like it's probably Indian, maybe. So I'm just trying to think of like Indian first names, but I probably need some more info, like Laksh Lakshmi. Um, T of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. So I feel good about TLC here. And I know this has to be either major or minor, which means that I know three of these letters just by default, because they appear in both major and minor. Escorts to a penthouse say, Escorts seize up. Escorts to a penthouse. Say seize up. I'm gonna say that's good. Um, conference goers ID. 
is like a name tag or a badge. Badge. Uh, maybe this is I am. I A M B I am. If music be the food of love, play on. Yeah. Okay. Like I am big pentameter. I am. <clears throat> I think that's right. We'll, we'll go with that for now. Um, and then I think this is probably gonna be badge. I think that's right. I mean, a conference goer's ID. So like a thing on a lanyard with a little laminated badge, right? Why not? It can help you make a deal with the devil. With the devil. Hmm. Again, like it's just really, really open ended. A carry on concern. Um, weight, size. It's probably size. Um, I wonder if that Z is going to look weird, but I don't really, I still don't have a ton of info here. So. Um, Center, rec center, recreation center, wave function denoter in quantum mechanics. Uh, I mean, that I have just couldn't couldn't have less idea what that is. Um, not a big quantum mechanics guy. Uh, so hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully our crosses are going to help out there. Setting of David Sedaris' Santa Land Diaries. I still don't have any info here. I mean, David Sedaris, <clears throat> a lot of his stuff is set um like in new york right um but setting of david sedaris is santa land diaries uh the north pole i mean what's santa specific i don't know a post flood locale so i want to say like it was the name of a boat ararat i don't know why that feels right ararat was it the name of Noah's boat. Um, high octane person. High octane person. Like, so energetic. Um, a German philosopher who wrote. So, I mean, the quote itself is useless to me, right? Like, they might as well have just said German philosopher. Name a German philosopher. Um, and this W is pretty helpful. I mean, I, I feel like Walesa is pretty concrete. I feel good about that. Um, so I'm just trying to think of like who a German philosopher with the first name W, like Wilhelm. Um, I mean, it's just a German name I can think of. W-I-L-H. So like H-E-E-L. M broke down. Hmm. I really don't know. Frank. Okay, so this is candid, which is one of the things I speculated before, but now I've got a couple of pretty solid crossers, Catan and Walesa. Um, feel real good about those. So candid, I'm gonna say that's 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 gonna work. A buffer. It's like a loan, maybe, like a buffer loan. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? So I think that's, is that like Edward Al, Alby? Support group would be fan base. So that works with Alby. I think it's A-L-B-E-E. -E. Chicago market with the. I really don't know what that is. And I feel like I'm probably going to Probably going to seem obvious in retrospect. Um, Jewels for a novel. It's in a different language. Race. So that's tear, right? Disintegrating has old books. Mm. Extended trial would be an ordeal, right? Fooey, darn, drat, alternative to loved. Let's say this is probably a D, right? Because it's going to be synonymous with loved. So loved, honored, doted, something fooey. Let's try drat here. So at a certain point, like I've been doing this puzzle for almost 20 minutes and I need to 
just fill some stuff in and, and, you know, hope that it confirms my crosses. Like, but this is the part of the puzzle where I'm going to start to take a few more chances with something like Drat, where I don't have, I've got nothing to confirm this, but EB makes sense. AR makes sense. LA makes sense. Right. So um, we'll give it a shot. Ugh. I really wish this was not a poetry clue. Um, pledges, pledges. Um, choice for a diamond buyer. Oh, so that's going to be like, could it be like a ring cut? Ring cut. Um, really small. So I think this is going to be like teeny tiny, right? Teeny tiny. Um, so choice for a diamond buyer. I, I gotta, this, has, this feels like it's got to be cut. Um, a rose cut, rose cut. That's a thing. Parts of codes, laws, pledges, swears. Okay. So that's why we put drat in there. Cause like it just, even though I wasn't sure about it, it helped me get teeny tiny and laws and it all looks good. So um, that was, that was nice. That we were able to fill that part in a pet name would be a pet name. Um, I'm trying to think of literal names for pets, uh, but I can't. That's my cue, right? Oh, target of many Bernie Sanders proposal is one percent. That's a nice. That's a nice clue because you're thinking of like an issue so much, uh, an issue more than a demographic, right? And the 1% is, is really the demographic that he's focused on. It's not, um, you know, target of many Bernie Sanders proposal. I'm thinking healthcare, I'm thinking tax law, stuff like that. So 1% is kind of a nice misdirection, but it's, it, it, it totally works. Um, rakish types. Well, it's, Probably going to end in S, right? Castor and Pollux. Okay, so these are the names of stars in the galaxy. Uh, rakish types. Kind of feel like size might be wrong here. Not sure yet. They're cut from the same cloth. Um, boy, I have a lot of, I've got a lot of letters in here and I'm surprised that nothing's jumping out a little more. Um, hot spot. Um, hot spot. I, size increasingly feels wrong there, so I'm going to get rid of that. But I can't say that this is anything else is really jumping out at me there. Frank would be direct. So did we have Frank twice? Oh, I don't love that, cluing those both the same. I guess like, I don't know, it's not terrible, but um, high fidelity is piety. Oh, that's a good one, right? Um, loyal to something above high fidelity. Um, that's a really nice clue. Really good. Um, because high fidelity, I mean, we're, you know, like your immediate association is something to do with music. Right. Um, but instead it's, it's totally headed in a different direction. Disintegrating his old books. Um, I mean like unbinding, uh, I don't know, on this ragtime piano, a couple of like some tough, Tough proper nouns here. I mean, this ragtime guy, the poet, um, I don't really know. In the blast radius, like amid, maybe? Could it be amid? Um, I don't, if that is the answer, I don't love it, but I think it could be that. Tell your mama, like, could that be right? Tell your mama. Um, Hmm. Broke down. <sighs> oh, 
Um, I wonder if Hun is wrong too. That, that doesn't feel right either. Broke down, weeped maybe. Setting of David Sedaris's Sandaland Diaries. Weeped, weeped feels pretty good. Um, I just don't have anything much to love. Like, what would that be if that's a P? I don't know. Um, so this is starting to look like maybe <clears throat> Ann Larson, Ann Parson. Um, I mean, neither of those feels like a name that I know, but um, that's just kind of what this looks right looks like, right? Um, Parson, Larson, Carson, Chicago market with uh, public economic. Talk a public economic scholar, Chetty. <laughs> like Raj, Raj Chetty. Oh man, and this German philosopher, oof. That's not Wilhelm, it's something else. Daily Mail tidbit. Oh, so this is, I don't love this, but I guess it's rumor with a U, the British spelling of rumor. Um, and then something bar, uh, high octane person. Um, something bar. Hmm. Jules Verne novel, La Terre de la Lune. Like, oh, this must be the, the land of the moon, La Terre de la Luna, right? So then what would this be? Something bar. It's loon, loon. Man, alternative to love. Oh my gosh. Underlying, underlying. Um, keyed off. Well, I said Lakshmi here, and that could be right. Lak no. Oh, yeah. Lak. No. Lakshmi. Um. They're cut from the same cloth. Wow, this is a tough one. This is kindred spirits. Wow. That's that's tough. It's nice and it's clever, but man, in a in a grid, in a tough grid. <laughs> uh, that's that's difficult. Um, okay, so teed off. Okay, so I know this is C minor now, right? Um, so teed off is ticked off and then pet name chia pet okay la lahini hot spot oh so this is i like this one this is erogenous zone so a place on your body physically that would get you hot um erogenous zone that's really nice um, and that means that this was size. So I had this one, right? Way back in the day. And it can help you make a deal with the devil must be a deck of tarot cards, right? And this looks like nonsense to me, but rakish types has to be satyrs. That's the only thing, that's the only word that could be. Um, <laughs> we're, making, we're making progress here slowly but surely. Um, but these clues, I don't know, everything else here was really kind of nonsense for me. Uh, uh, setting up David Sedaris's Santa land. I mean, I wish I knew this cause I bet it's awesome. <laughs> uh, high octane person is, uh, there's been a lot of misdirection clues here. So I almost feel like it's like a, you know, gas, gas pumper, um, like a farm, Something, I don't know, a high octane person. I mean, there's only so many letters I could end with, right? That are gonna work for 
T-U-R blank and to leave this off. I want it to be an E, you know, high octane person, something future, mature. Um, and then whew, doesn't look like anything though. German philosopher. Be like Jamis. No, that's not a very German German name. Um, what could this be? Love Chicago market with the. Oh, my Chicago friends would be so mad at me right now. Um, From the Earth to the Moon must be the name of this book. Um, and so it's got to be Luna, right? But then I just I can't imagine what this would be if it ended in A. Um it feels like an E would work better there as well, but I just, I don't, man, this isn't really jumping out at me. Disintegrating as old books. Disintegrating as old books. Ragtime pianist Matthews. Tell, I mean, I just tell your mama, like, tell, tell her mama. Tell his mama. Um, setting of David Sedaris Sandalin Diaries. So like if this was an H, maybe that could be like Omaha. I don't I mean Omaha. Right? And then broke down. What could that be? Broke down. Um, well, I liked Anne here. Maybe Anne or Anna. Um, love. And then Carson, Parson, Larson. There's a lot that could be there. Um, Anne. And then I... Raj, Chetty. I mean, Chetty also feels kind of like an Indian name. Um, Raj, Chetty. Right? High octane person, um, something nature, freak of nature, freak of nature. I, why would it be a freak of nature? I don't really, that wouldn't make much sense. Um, what kind of a bar? T. Benjamin. Benjamin? This looks like Benjamin, right? Ten. Ten. Tended bar? Tended bar? Offer, say. Tended bar. I want that to be, right? Uh, but then what would a buffer is a load? Does that make sense? I mean, it seems to work there. Um, just kind of spitballing here at this point, but I mean, Benjamin looks good. Although, I mean, German philosopher named Benjamin. Hmm. Disintegrating his old books. So what kind of a name could start this way? Like mm, Moxie, Moni? Maxi. Um, well, if this is his or her, tell her mama, tell his mama. Um, broke down. Broke down. Alternative to loved in a Machiavellian phrase to loved high octane person 
feared. I'd rather be feared than loved. Could that be the Machiavellian phrase? Chicago market with the Merc, like M-E-R-C, and is that a thing? Um, tell her mama, tell his mama. Hi, octane person. Hmm. Broke down. Well, if this was of nature, then this would be an O. Oh, so Omaha might be wrong, and that would be sobbed. I think that seems pretty good, right? Something of nature, and then this is sobbed. And then this is Bay, maybe? Like Bay? And then I'm going to say this is Merc. I don't, Merc seems familiar. Um, like a high octane person, like a, a flame of nature. A flame of nature. <laughs> uh, a high octane person. Um, German philosopher. <sighs> Wall Wallace. Wallace. And then his. Setting of David Sedaris' Sandaland Diaries. Disintegrating. Like Ollie Matthews. Ollie. High octane person, something of nature, something of nature. A fame of nature. But yeah. And that would make this her, right? Tell her mama. Setting of David Sedaris. This one's killing me because <laughs> because I'm a fan of Sedaris and it's one across and like the Santa Land Diaries. I mean, setting of the Santa Land Diaries. I'm out of steam here. I just disintegrating as old books. And I mean, am I committed to this amid in the blast radius? Amid. So I'm going to feel good about everything else here, right? So it's just these, wow, these 12 squares is the only thing that I'm concerned about. So disintegrating his old books. <clears throat> this feels like it should be a little more apparent, but it's not. <laughs> so that's not helpful. Ragtime pianist Matthews. I mean, it really, it, it, there's a few things that could, that could go here. Um, like W A L. Wallace really felt pretty good, but I don't know. In the blast radius. Amid feels okay there, but not like I'm not sure about it. Tell something mama. Tell his mama. Tell your mama. Tell her mama. Tell me mama. Tell tell the mama. Tell our mama. Setting of David Sedaris' Santaland Diaries. Force of nature. Oh my God, how did I not see that? 
force of nature, right? And so this could be like Artie, Artie Matthews or Arnie Matthews in the blast radius. Iced, aced, wow, in the blast radius, like CC'd. I think it might be CC'd, and I'm not a huge fan of that. But I guess if it's an email blast, right? And then this could be like Walter Benjamin and her and. Archie, Saks Fifth Avenue? No, that's not how you spell Saks. Uh, Saks. Um, so setting up David Sedaris' Santalyn Diaries is... Wow. Um, obviously, that's not how you spell Saks. Um, boy. And Archie, I mean, Artie Matthews, like. Setting up David Sedaris as Santa Land Packers. Soldering, like, moldering. Macy's? Macy's? I think that would make sense of Santa Land Packers, Macy's, and moldering sounds pretty good, actually. Um, but, oh, and this is, I have a misspelling here, spirits, kindred spirits. Wow. Uh, well, <laughs> if you're still here, I am deeply appreciative of that. I can't believe you just stuck it out for a 40 minute solve. Um, that was a grind, but that's like, as I said, at the beginning of the, at, at the beginning of, of, uh, the video, um, I think that's a little more interesting than, you know, four minute LA time solve. Um, you got to watch me really grind that one out and work through it. Um, that was actually pretty cool and nice puzzle. Um, 40 minutes and 44 seconds. That's the longest it's taken me to solve a crossword puzzle in quite a while. Um, Walter Benjamin, uh, that sounds pretty good. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward name. I guess it's pretty, in, you know, something you could intuit. Um, although it's crossing like moldering and arty and CC'd. That's a pretty tough clue for CC in the blast radius. Tell your mama. Um, you know, if you don't know the name of the song, then you've got Ann Carson and Raj Chetty and, you know, a British spelling of rumor, Merck, Chicago market with the Merck, um, Albie, another tough proper name, <laughs> Gipper. Oh my gosh. This is a very difficult puzzle. Um, it's nice though, and it's it's got some really it had some real highlights. Kindred spirits, they're cut from the same cloth. I like that one. Erogenous zone, hot spot, also very good. Force of nature. It should not have taken me that long to get that. I don't love that clue. Um, I mean, a force of nature isn't. I mean, a, a, I feel like a, a sedate person could also be a, a force of nature and they wouldn't be a high octane person necessarily. Um, David Sedaris, I'm going to have to go back and read this Macy's um, Santa Land Diaries. That's awesome. Um, I feel like this is, I feel like he worked as a Santa. Maybe that's what it is. Um, I think I'm, it's possible I've even read this, but um, anyways, uh, Monday, September 28th, Nathan Last. Um, thanks for joining me for this live solve of the New Yorker puzzle. And uh, I'll